at the risk of someone saying I video everything, I'm going to show you what I was doing today. Uh, I pulled all the wheels off and all the knuckles for no apparent reason. <coughs> um, everything looks good. I'm really impressed how easy it comes apart. These are kind of a new thing to me, these style ball joints. Uh, Hom doesn't use them. So pretty nice, easy to work on. Um, axles are kind of puny, but they're holding up so far. Brakes have this neat little scraper thing on them. Uh, very cool. So plenty of brake pad left. You can see they're kind of segmented right there. Uh, the Can-Am would have gone through two sets of brake pads for this number of miles. Nice bellows on the rack. Uh, real cool. Everything's greasable. So you can grease your A-arms, your, uh, your, your greaser for your sway bar. Uh, the fluid in the front dip was clean as a whistle, which is more than I can say for Can-Am after everything I went through. Um, the back suspension is really beefy. I mean, these things were all gusseted, you know. I mean, freaking stout. Very impressive. Took the whole belt box apart, cleaned it out. It was disgusting. This thing is flimsy. I mean, look how much it flexes. Like, it's just, it's not, look, look, look how much that flexes right there. I mean, it, it does not as feel as quality a product as Can-Am's belt box. So far, the only place Can-Am is beating the players is at the belt box quality and the belt box seal. Um, also, my rear diff, you can already see that it's kind of dry in there. Let me see if I can get closer for you. Um, yeah, so, uh, that's a big problem, right? When that starts to get dry, you have a really hard time getting your axles out. So I pulled the rear axles out. This is the main reason for doing all this, because I'm just going to use this as a chance to, I mean, that, that's two rides, people. That's why you got to pack that sucker full of, uh, anti seizer grease. Uh, rear brakes are okay. The rear brake pads do have some wear. Not too surprising, all the mud I've gone through. Um, yep. What else did I want to say? Um, these little overloads, these little like dual rate springs are cute, but this, this spring rate is so much less than the spring rate that these are maxed out all the time if you run with your preload cranked up. Kind of stupid. But yeah, overall really nice bike to work on. It only took me about 30 minutes to pull off all four wheels and knuckles, pull the rear axles out. Did spend a little more time cleaning out the belt, but I mean, that's the kind of maintenance you got to do when you own a rubber band drive piece of shit. You know, after a good hard ride, you got to clean the belt, get all the dirt out of there, all the burnt rubber. It'll uh, increase the life of your clutches and your belt. Yep. Pretty sweet bike.